Good morning students. Welcome to class 8 English. Today we are going to discuss unit 3 of uh, lesson 1 on being an Indian. Written by the famous Indian English writer Ruskin Bond. First of all we will go for a model reading and then I will explain the chapter. There are many among us who given the opportunity to leave India are only too happy to go. But whenever I have had the chance to go away, I have held back. Some old oh, something has held me back. What is it that has such a hold on me, but leaves others free to go where they will? Sometimes never to return. Many years ago, I was offered a well-paid job at a magazine in Hong Kong. I thought about it for weeks, worried myself to distraction and finally, with a great sigh of relief, turned it down. My friends thought I was crazy. They still do. Most of them would have jumped at a comparable offer, even if it had meant spending the rest of their lives far from the pan frigid falls of pine clad mountains of this land. Many friends have indeed gone away, never to return, except perhaps to get married, very quickly before they are off again. Don't they feel homesick? I wonder. I am almost paranoid at the thought of going away and then being unable to come back. This almost happened to me when I was a boy. I went to England, longed to return to India, but did not have money for the passage. For two years, I worked and slaved like a miser, something I have never had done since until I had enough to bring me home. And home was with parents and brothers and sisters. They were no longer here. Home for me was India. So what is it that keeps me here? By birth, I take too closely after a naughty grandparent to pass for a typical son of the soil. People often ask me where I came from. India, I say, but you don't like an Indian. They protest. I'm a red Indian, I say. Let's discuss. Many people uh, like to leave India for their good. But when the writer gets such a chance, he withdraws himself back. He couldn't understand what uh, foes that held him back all these years. Years ago, he got an offer from a Hong Kong magazine that uh, others thought it would be a better option and uh, such a comparable, that comparable the way is given over there, such a similar standard of size which can be compared. So, when others would be getting such a better option, they would think uh, they would not. Uh, they would never go for such a second thought, but they would just uh, receive that offer. But for the other, he had to think at least for some weeks, and finally he had turned his face down against the same offer. That means he did not go at all. And uh, his friends thought that uh, he was really crazy. No one would reject such a uh, such a better offer. They did not feel any. Hong signals as uh, the writer felt. Actually, he is afraid of the thought of going out or going away from India. So, as a person who would never be able to come back, or once he tried, or he went out with his family to England, being there, he was really unable to adjust with the situation there. He wanted to come back, but he had no money. For that, for earning money to come back, he had to work for two years. And when he got money sufficient uh, to support his journey, passage back to India, 
he came back and settled back in india and after that he never thought of going out india and for him home was in uh, home was not uh, meant by uh, the terms brothers family sister or uh, parents because they are already left and they went to england and uh, now they are no more in india but for him he was not able to go back so during the period of his grandparents this british family this nordica family that means if that's why the word uh, said over there this nordic family has uh, come to india they came that uh, nordic means from the northern side of europe they are actually uh, they were uh, actually irish people they came and uh, settled over here uh, in india but being the part of the country that ruskin born had never thought of going back and he still considers himself to be an indian when india got freedom by the time the other like other family members he too could settle back in england but he did not go back but he preferred to stay back in india so this is the case so that's why he says that for him the family that means uh, the home means it is india feeling of indianness or feeling that he is an indian that makes him to come back again then again when someone asks him seeing his uh, face and seeing his uh, body uh, condition they ask him that uh, uh, where he comes from where he hails from where he belongs to then he always answers that i am an indian so i am from india but uh, at the same time uh, they protest with the other question that but you don't look like an indian then he says that i am a red indian then if there is no option then i am a red indian having the reddish face so he says that he is uh, a red indian so but actually red indian means the native people of america who aboriginally lived there and uh, when the european settlers came they were either killed or even they were forced to leave the other parts of the country so there we can see that actually being an indian he wants to be known as an indian and uh, wants to live in india not in any other country even though he has uh, the citizenship of england he could go back and uh, he preferred to stay back in india so that let's continue with the second part of the chapter i'll just go for reading again the next part india is where i was born and went to school and grew to manhood india was where my father was born and went to school and worked and died surely that entitles me to a place in indian sun if it doesn't i can revert to my mother's family and go back to the time of timu the lady how far back does one have to go in order to establish one's indianness it must be the land itself that holds me but so many of my fellow indians have been born here and yet they think nothing of uh, nothing of leaving the land they will leave the mountains for the plains the villages for the cities their countries for another country and if other countries were a little more willing to open their doors we would have no population problem mass immigration would have solved it but it's more than the land that holds me for india is more than a land india is an atmosphere of thousands of years the races and religions of the world have mingled here and produced that unique indefinable phenomenon the indian so terrifying in a crowd so beautiful in himself and only enough i am one too i know that i am as indian as the postman of the panwa or the panwala or the favorite movie star race did not make me an indian but history did and in the long run it's history that counts so 
let's discuss the uh, story the part what we have discussed uh, sorry the part we have read india is the land where mr basketball was born and grew into manhood his father was also born here and if again anyone wants to know the proof for his indianness he has to go to the tibetan spirit to know that he wants to live in india but many of his friends want to migrate to other countries so that they may prosper if some countries were willing to open their doors the problem of population would have been solved then up over we can see that uh, over thousands of years the races different type of uh, religions and all these things have mixed up in india and uh, that make our country really unique of uh, so special and uh, so different than the rest of the countries of the world so he says that he is as indian as any other uh, people just like uh, any panwala or any postman or even a film star so he is an indian not by race by race actually he is an english because his father his mother and his uh, grandparents all were english but at the same time by birth by history he is an indian and moreover by his choice he is an indian so this is the end of the chapter thank you for watching stay safe stay home stay healthy may good god bless you thank you